what is up guys and then plays back another video today we're on clash of clans going playing on some um yeah clash of clans i was gonna say mindplex server um mindplex survival games but uh we're not playing on that we're playing on sir uh, clash of clans so i got a couple replays to show you i have um a three star clutch with lava hound which is really really cool um you, like you guys gotta see this this is like so clutch okay so we're gonna um go to this one it's number 10 i was doing a pencil lava loon and I had a pretty good strategy. Put three lava hounds on that one, two lava hounds on that air defense, and just spam all my balloons. But uh, didn't really work out because I didn't take out this air defense in this air defense in time. And uh, you'll see what happens. So as I send in uh, oh yeah, I lure out the clan castle. I drop two poisons on him, thinking that it'd take out the dragon. But uh, little did I know that it was not going to. So I dropped two poisons. It uh melts down i'm gonna fast forward through that blah 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 blah. trying to take out the dragon so he's not fast put my queen up here to take out the dragon let her get hit once uh takes out dragon i activate i, I put the king down activate her special ability uh and then i let her take out a couple buildings i send in my lava hounds all three of them go there all my balloons go in then i drop I drop a rage spell right there. I drop another rage spell right other over there. They both they um go down. Sad thing is this well this air defense didn't go down in time, so I dragged all five of my lava hounds in that one place. Now they're all going to the same air defense, leaving all these balloons right here unprotected from that air defense. And that air, de and that air defense is just gonna go to work on them. I send in two back door balloons to try to like distract so I can take out a couple more buildings with my main group of balloons and I'm glad I did because I took out this wizard tower in time and uh, all three of these lava hounds come in I have two balloons over here trying to put putting in some work uh, they go over here to these Teslas seeing if they can take it out because I might have a chance if they do and drops bomb and he can't take it out so now we're pretty much left with a bunch of lava pups down here but these Teslas are gonna just take those lava pups out so we're going to left with three lava hounds. That one pops. He takes out their air defense. This lava, that lava pup, and those two hounds get to work on that air, um, air sweeper. And uh, yeah, uh, those go to the mortar. They take out that more. Take out that. They go to the cannon. They take out that, and then they go over here. This lava, this lava hound's about to pop. And about any second now, right about now, then it pops. We have a bunch of lava pups. And I'm thinking, maybe we can pull this off. We do have only two Teslas left to guard. And this lava hound luckily has not popped yet. Wanting it to pop to these two Teslas, as this lava hound goes clutch and takes out um, that Tesla. It's only left with one Tesla um, firing at it. So it's pretty much tanking. And then all these lava pups are going to have cleanup. All they got to do is clean up all this. And we run it really short with five seconds left to spare on this as we um, pick up the town hall. And we pick up that. Lava Pup does not pop. And then the last building to go down is this expo, which is set to ground. Then we have a three star. Pretty clutch three star. Lava Hounds came in clutch and handy. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty happy about that. Okay, now we have a. Uh, actually, let's do this one right here. Red, Our number one attack by Red Army. Oh, I thought it was a pretty good attack. Got a pretty decent two-star, pretty solid, 50, 53%. And uh, he drops his golems right here. Wizard's behind, wall breaks in. Drops a haste spell. Probably should have dropped it a little er, a little um, a little closer to where his troops could actually use it. And that just his golems. His, all of his things go on the outside, but they do cut back in, and they um, use that jump spell. They cut back in, luckily, instead of going to that electric collector. And uh, this... I did fast forward through most of it, but uh, uh, wizards go to the town hall. They take out the town hall. King goes down. Where's the queen? Okay, queen went down early. He sends in some wizards over here to kind of get some cleanup for the percentage. Uh, he has two minions. Gonna drop those down early just to make sure he has all this percentage done. And he he is not stuck with a one star, and that'd be really bad. So he has one peck alive, a wizard, a minion up there. And that's pretty much it. This P.E.K.K.A. is going to get a couple more buildings and go down. Going to get that air defense, and I'm pretty sure it's going to go down. Uh, Sorry for the messages, because they're 
really annoying when you're recording. And they're sending messages, and there's a 52% two-star by Red Army. He's going to look back, sit back, see if he can snipe off any more buildings. With his minion, he gets this building right here. And that minion takes it out and goes down by that air defense with a solid 53%. And a uh, low power mode battery get out the way. Everything wants to go notification right now. We have a couple replays by um Zach and Bob. <coughs> Sorry, my voice got a little um messed up right there. We have a replays from Zach and Bob. My clan asked for some replays. They're gonna send it, and they're the lucky winners. So uh, okay, Zach's on defense. He's gonna take it. He said he had no clan castle troops. Okay, Let's see how this goes. He drops down four golems. Wizards to clean up. Standard go wipe. Wall breaks. Uh, trying to see if this. Okay, Eagle Artillery took out those wall breakers. I I hope I think. Yeah, the, the Eagle Artillery is firing down. Level two Eagle Artillery, right there, just raining down on these golems. Putting in the work. Broke down those golems right there. The Eagle Artil Eagle Artillery. The new update is crazy. It takes down so much health and the grand warden spawn to keep the troops alive just that much longer as you can see a little aura thing he has going on okay let's see how much this does to this golem right here it's gonna fire yep broke that he broke the golem even though it didn't have a lot of health uh kings up two giants going in there pretty sure that's a golem in there grand warden's gonna snipe that inferno tower down um, is he gonna get? It? Is he gonna get it? Yep, Grand Warden got it. I think the, actually the Golem explosion got it. Queen going in and take out a few more buildings. Try to get pick up to 50%. Activate this um, special ability. Queen goes for the gold because she's a Olympic medalist. If you didn't know. And uh, yeah, pretty much wraps up for this raid. You gonna drop the earthquake on it? No, yeah. Um, storage doesn't take um damage from spells i forgot about that update but uh yeah gonna go back and we have bob with an attack yes bob with an attack 24 loons 40 archers 60 barbarians so like a loon bar a loon barch loon barch okay so since all of his loons in here has four hills kind of um eager to see how this is gonna work out okay he drops all of the loons right here all the loons are dropped. Healing them up for, so those wizard towers won't kill them all in the air defenses. I actually never thought about this, healing up loons. I've always raged, I've never thought of healing them. I guess it does kind of work, I don't know. I don't know if four rages would do better than four heals. Or would it be all better if you did two rages and two heals? I don't know. But uh, yeah, it takes down this like whole base and then the Barbarians and archers is gonna go by and take all the loot down from the storages without any defenses to tank down to, um, to attack. So pretty, I think this is a pretty good thing. I still probably would prefer Lunian though, so so the barbarians and archers don't have to break through the walls because they still have to break through the walls since the balloons are taking out the walls. But I do, yeah. It, it looks like a pretty good solid attack if you think about it. Uh. Maybe if he brought a couple wall breakers with it, so, so, uh, so the wall breakers, um, not the wall breakers, so the barbarians can get, the barbarians and archers can get to like the storage is easier. I think this might be a sh more better attack, but it seems like it's working pretty well actually. So he drops his queen, level 10 king. Kind of jealous because I don't have a level 10 queen yet. Gonna get her up. Trying to farm dark elixir. Have 25,000 saved up. Want that level 10 queen. Uh, wizard tower is gonna go. Take out all those barbarians, put them to shame. Rest in peace, barbarians. Uh, gonna take out that gold storage. Are they gonna move to the dark elixir? Yes. King moves to the dark elixir. King's gonna go to the gold storage next. Take out all that loot, and I'm. Is that queen gonna pick up that last gold storage? Oh, the queen. The king didn't even go for the gold storage. Oh wow. Okay, so let's see if the queen can take out these two last gold storages. Yes, it looks like she's gonna do it. She, has to, she still has her special ability. You're gonna use it right there. She's gonna take out that wizard tower. Uh, probably use it a little bit later would have made more sense, but uh, okay, she's gonna go for the air defense and not the uh, gold storage, but it shouldn't be that much of a problem. 
Mortars are doing a tremendous amount of damage to the queen. And I'm gonna take her out before she can take out that whole gold storage. So uh, 63% got most of the loot. 279,000 gold, 176,000 uh, elixir, and 1,700 dark elixir. Pretty good solid raid and might, might do it. Let's see if we send me any other replays. Nope, uh, a live war attack, let's see this. Chris, Chris, I don't know how to say his name, but he's getting attacked. Oh wow, just jumped into this raid. Okay, all the air defenses are down. Ooh, but the clan castle dragon's still up. Oh, I think he can do this. Oh wait, there's one air defense up. Okay, yes. Okay, this is a, this is a one star. Could almost be a two star. I mean, uh, fail if he, uh, that dragon went over, over there to take out those dragons, but uh, Dragon's gonna get one a couple hit more hits out on these dragons. These dragons are gonna go down. Pretty much a fail raid. Nothing really watch there. And I want to show you guys this um one star fail on my base. Uh, pretty cool. Didn't design this. Got this from the thing, but I did do a couple changes to it. So it is. I guess you could say it was my, it is mine, but uh, didn't design it like I said. So I can't really claim it for mine. He's gonna drop a poison. Gonna fast forward through that. Uh, okay. And he drops his ground phase. He drops his um golems, I mean. His Pekkas, Wizards to clean up. Uh then he's gonna drop a jump spell right there to try to take him to the center. Uh but the good thing about this base is that the town hall has its own like ring and it's like this little like square box where all the golems will get distracted, go around the town hall, and not really tank for them. As you can see right here, Expo is targeted on the Pekka and not the Golem as you would want the thing to target the golem, not the P.E.K.K.A. because so the, the P.E.K.K.A.s are the most hit po hit damages and uh, these P.E.K.K.A.s are just gonna go right around and not go for the town hall at all because of my queen right there. The queen's gonna distract them. Giant bomb to meet that. Another giant bomb to take out that P.E.K.K.A. right there. And this attack is looking like almost a fail, but then the queen comes in Takes out a couple more buildings from the bottom. Uh, there's a couple golems up there. Not gonna really do much. Queen's up here. She's gonna. She still has her special ability. He has an earthquake spell. Don't know what he can do with it though. Queen going down. Activate special ability right there. Couple archers. Um. Tank for archer tower takes her out. And there's one wizard up at top. Gonna just go free because he has no defenses targeting him. Those golems go down. He's gonna just take out that um, elixir storage. Pick up the expert scent. Just in case we tie this war. He wants to get the expert, extra percent for the total destruction. And wizard goes down with a 60% one star. And that's pretty much a fail for me. That's a, um, uh, not a fail for me, but a fail for him. I think. Oh, we're getting attacked again. Okay, let's go watch this. I think a fail attack if it's, if they don't get a two star or a three star. I'd say a three star because that'd be more like reasonable. Okay, this guy is definitely not looking good. Okay, yes, because their hog rider is going to go in by double giant bombs right there. Okay, wait. I don't know how this is going. This all It all started off too quick. Okay, yeah, these hog riders are going to go straight into my double giant bombs. Look at this. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Aw, uh, aw. Uh. Didn't even get to do it. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Fail attack. He's gonna get the one star, but that is about it. Skeletons are gonna go over here. Kind of rush this attack. Wish I could have watched the whole thing. We're gonna um replay it to see what anything happened. Interesting. Uh. Yeah, it's looking like a fail. I'm not just. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> My mic just fell. It just fell off of the desk. But, uh, Wizard is going to take out that. This cannon, hopefully, is going to target them soon. Or is it going to be the Barbarian King? Which one's going to win? Barb King, cannon. Okay, cannon wins. Mortar gets a couple shots off. Cannon takes it out. And, uh, another fail attack for my... Another win for me. Another fail attack for the A team. Okay, so uh, yeah, I think this base is holding up twice. Um, pretty good. Defended a couple times. Uh, I don't know how many times it's been attacked yet. Wait, 
defenses. I have one. Oh, I've been attacked twice, but I never won one. Go ahead and donate him some archers. Wait, did I say? Oh, I said wizards. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's clumsy ninjas last replay. Let's look at his. Oh, this is a whopping amount. A lot of loot. I don't know why I said whop. Oh, he put his gold storages up here too. Oh, this is a lot of loot. Wonder if he's gonna get it all, or is he gonna take out the gold storages and leave? Yeah, okay, so we, okay, we're gonna stop fast forwarding. Put down Barbarian King. Bunch of uh, wizards, barbarians, and archers going in the middle. Couple giants. Barbarian King's also there. Gonna pop the rage on the Barbarian King, I believe. No? Gonna save it and let all his barbar. Okay, he pops the rage on the Barbarian King right there. Takes out the tunnel. Goes over to the mortar. Takes it out. See if he's gonna take out this. Uh, elixir storage. Don't know if he's gonna be able to take it out. All those, this cannon and archer towers is attacking it. Takes out the. Oh, he takes it out actually. Barbarian king for the clutch. Wind goes down. And he's gonna get the 69 percent. 70 percent. He didn't even get the 69. What a what an attack. He didn't get the 69, but he did get 300 300k loot. Uh, pretty much a 500k loot raid. Pretty good. If I say so myself, but uh, that is that is it for this video, guys. Please tell me if you like this. Um, I think this is pretty well. I don't know if you guys like Clash of Clans videos. Tell me in the comments if it's all like good. If you want me to do like half and half Minecraft and Clash of Clans, or you want me to do more Minecraft and Clash of Clans. Uh, pretty much anything you guys want. Tell me if you like this. And uh, this is Enigma plays back another video, and I'll see you in a later one, guys.